So a lot of you have probably seen this scary message when you tried to publish your, publish your Facebook ad campaigns in the past week. This event hasn't been set up on any of your domains. In the future, ad sets optimizing for whatever your conversion event is will be paused unless you change your available events. And then if you go to your ad, you'll see another scary warning that um, says all domains need to be associated with a pixel event pair and then add your pixel event was not associated with any domains. <laughs> so it's a little scary and it freaked me out at first. If you read my community posts, uh, go to my channel page and just check community tab. I have a bunch more information on other people offering solutions to this there as well. Um, but I'm going to tell you one, how to get around this now and two, how to prepare long term for this. So the way to get around this now is you can essentially just ignore it. What you got to do is just publish your campaign like you normally would. And then after you do so, inside of your ad sets, your ad set will be paused. If it's not paused, refresh the page and you'll see that it ends up being paused. If you just click this button, it'll unpause it and your pixel will work perfectly fine. I've been doing this for the past week. Everything's working. The pixel events are coming in. A bunch of people I've talked to, it's the same deal and everything is working. So for now, that is the fix. However, long term, as you saw in the thing where it says in the future, which I wish they would just say a date, <laughs> but in the future, all domains need to be paired or, or all pixel events need to be paired with a verified domain. And Facebook's had this way where you can verify your domains for a while. It's a way of protecting your brand identity because you wouldn't be able to put a pixel on the site unless it's a verified domain for you. Uh, and it's very easy. So to do that on your inside of your business manager, you just click business settings, this little gear at the bottom. And this is the scariest part of Facebook, this business settings page. Every time I do a consultation and I have to go in here, it's like, uh, you know, it's, just, it's a bad time. But what you want to do, do is go down to brand safety and go to domains. I don't have any verified at the moment, um, but I'm going to be verifying some of my domains. I own andrewsouthworth.com, andrewonspotify.com, generistudios.com. And what you need to do to verify your domain is you just need to be able to change either one, the DNS record, upload an HTML file to the your folder structure, or three, edit the HTML code and put a meta tag in. Now, if you don't know what any of that means, don't worry, I'll be having videos on this. <laughs> um, it's all very easy. Essentially, it's like when you buy a domain, you go through a provider like domain.com, that's who I use. I think GoDaddy sells stuff and, and Squarespace and Wix all sell domains as well. Um, and what you do is there's like a section called DNS records. And basically you just click a button, say add, and you'll add a text record with a certain code. And that tells Facebook like, hey, this is me. And then they verify your domain. And then the other way is adding a piece of code. It's just like you copy a thing and you paste it inside of the code on your site. It's super, super easy, but don't worry, I'll have, I'll have videos going for that. Now, that's, that's all nice, nice to do. So the long-term fix is buy your own website and make your own landing pages on your own website. The problem is that's kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> I have my own websites, and I don't, even I don't do that. Like, I could do that, and I, I ha actually have done it a little bit. Like, if you go to, um, there'll be a link in the description. There's pretty much always andrewonspotify.com slash chains. That's a custom landing page I coded from scratch, you know, and I did that so I could use Google Ads more effectively because the... Uh, a lot of services didn't have good Google Ads integration for conversions. So uh, point being, it's just kind of a pain to do that when there's services like Hyped It and Toned In and Feature FM and whatever that will just kind of make a nice looking landing page for you in a matter of like a minute or two. Um, so the way that it's probably going to work for these services, again, I, like I contacted a few and only one got back to me and with a kind of an unclear answer, they pretty much just said, we're working on it. We'll, we'll, it'll be fine. Don't worry. You can essentially route your service page, like Toneden offers this. I don't know if it's on the free plan though. Essentially, you can make it so that when someone goes to like music.andrewsouthworth.com, I could make it route to my Toneden page. So that every time someone goes to, instead of having to do like Toneden.com or Toneden.io slash whatever, or whatever their page structure is, they can go to music.andrewsouthworth.com slash the like random code that Toneden generates. So I can use Toneden but run it through my site. And a lot of landing page services offer this. Not all of them do. And even so, it's usually on the super expensive plans that they offer. It's not on like the basic cheap packages. Um, <clears throat> so on one hand, I think a lot of these companies that don't offer it are probably gonna offer it if they want their service to be as useful as it is. 
Um, and some of these companies might bring that away from the super expensive tier and bring it down into some of the less expensive tiers if they want to keep those customers, because otherwise it'll be cheaper for them to just go and do it themselves on a website. Um, but it's very easy. As I mentioned, I'm going to have videos about how to do this for the, the, the couple different methods. And one, you know, first I'll do it for my site and then I'll show you how to do it for some of these landing page sites. I'm just waiting until the landing page situation gets a little more clear. So, uh, you know, there'll be several videos probably. But moral of the story, you can you can still run your campaigns. You just have to just, you know, publish it anyways and just make sure it gets unpaused and it'll work. I don't know when the cutoff date is. Your campaigns might randomly start working one day. So don't blame me if one day you log in, you have zero conversions and you spent $50 that day. Just keep an eye on your campaigns, basically. Um, I'll be updating this as soon as I know stuff. Um, and, you know, we'll, we'll get through this together. It's going to be okay. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. It's a quick video. Hope this helped and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.